Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I have an awesome hack for the bedroom. I've actually come up with a quite simple, easy to make solution for a problem that's afflicted a lot of people. A problem that strikes often in the dark. This solution is quick and easy and starts with merely measuring the distance from the ground up to the bottom of the brace underneath the frame that holds the mattress. Now it's time to get one of my favorite useful DIY parts, some pipe. In this case, four inch ABS pipe that I'm gonna cut to the exact length that I just measured, which was the floor up to the bottom of that brace underneath the mattress frame. Once it's cut, do sand down any rough edges and then wash and dry the pipe. You might be able to get away with some ABS or other kind of pipe that's not quite as large around, but you do need to make sure it is wide enough so that it is a little bit wider than the roller on the bottom of that foot underneath the mattress frame. So I've already talked about how to fix the problem, but what exactly is the problem that we're fixing? Imagine it's the middle of the night and you just got up for whatever reason and you're coming back to bed and ow! You crank your toe on that stupid wheel underneath the bed frame. Ah, oh, try doing that in the middle of the night without yelling out loud and waking everybody up. Well, the great news is with those first couple of steps we've already taken, the solution is now gonna be extremely easy. Simply reach down, grab the corner of the bed frame, lift it up, Take your pipe and put it underneath that wheel so that the wheel goes right down inside. You now have a great little foot guard or toe guard and you can prevent catching a little toe, big toe or any other part of your foot on that edge, especially the part that locks the wheels in place. Now those late night walks in the dark back to the bed just became a lot safer. This quick fix has already spared a lot of toes in my home and we're really glad we've got it there. The fact that this actual ABS pipe can move freely helps to further reduce any potential pain or injury that might come from smacking on the corner. And the best part is, it costs less than a dollar to make. If you want, you can even decorate it to match the looks of other things. If you want some spray paint tips, check out my previous video on extension cord safety. You can see the picture here where I made it to look a little bit like copper and silver. I've also had a lot of success with previous projects decorating plastic pipes with decorative tape and contact paper too, so you can give those a shot. Thank you for stopping by Dialed In DIY today and taking the time to watch my video. I'd also greatly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video and subscribe while you're here. I have previous videos grouped into playlists, so if you like this or other kinds of DIY videos, check those out and see if there's something you like there too. But as always, please feel free to come on back because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.